European fighters may also be deployed to Ukraine along with US F-16s. According to French intelligence services, in addition to the American F-16 fighters promised to Kiev, the West can transfer Mirage 2000D, Eurofighter Typhoons and Gripen's aircraft to Ukraine. At the same time, according to Belarusian analysts, if Western aircraft arrive en masse in Ukraine, most likely they will be based on the territory of neighboring NATO countries. Ukrainian military airfields remain extremely vulnerable to Russian strikes and are likely to be used only for the short-term deployment of Western-supplied aviation, which will circumvent accusations of an attack on the Russian Federation from NATO airspace. Presumably, fighters for the Ukrainian armed forces will be stationed at Polish airfields in Rzezov, Lask, Radom, Powitz, and Krzesini, as well as at Romanian airbases in Bakau, Bucharest, Constanta, and others. Meanwhile, the Speaker of the Air Force of the Ukrainian Armed Forces, Ilya Yevlash, said that the American F-16 fighters expected by Kiev are supposed to be placed in fortified bunkers and special underground storage facilities. In addition to avoid the destruction of the F-16, it is planned to carry out dispersed use of American aircraft on various types of runways and airfields. As previously reported by the American publication Business Insider, former U.S. Air Force pilots suggest that the skies over Ukraine could become the most dangerous battlefield that F-16 fighters have ever faced. The Ukrainian Air Force have stated that they expect F-16 multi-role fighters to appear in Ukrainian airspace as soon as possible. After Easter, early May, this is a rather extended concept. Of course, the Air Force, like all Ukrainians, would like to see the F-16 multi-role fighter jets in the airspace as soon as possible, so we are anticipating them in the near future. As soon as it emerges that the first F-16s have come to Ukraine, we will communicate this issue and officially inform our citizens that we have these multi-role fighter jets, Ilya Yevlash, spokesperson for Ukraine's Air Force, said. The spokesperson said that the pilots are currently training in the US and Denmark. However, the number of fighter jets is not yet known. The Ruang volcano erupted in Indonesia. Eruptions at a remote Indonesian volcano forced thousands to evacuate over tsunami threat with half a dozen airports forced to close down with ash spreading as far as Malaysia, officials said renewed eruptions from a remote Indonesian volcano have triggered fresh evacuation orders and sparked flight cancellations and airport closures this week with smoke, lava and volcanic gases spewing out of the mountain. Efforts in Indonesia began to evacuate about 12,000 residents from their homes following. The eruption of the Ruang volcano, the volcano, spewing lava and rocks, with the authorities raising the alert level to the highest possible and warning of potential pyroclastic flows, deadly ash surges, Indonesia, a vast archipelago nation, experiences frequent seismic and volcanic activity due to its position on the Pacific Ring of Fire. According to reports, Mount Ruang erupted three times on April 30, spewing lava and ash more than five kilometers into the sky and forcing authorities to issue evacuation orders for 12,000 locals. Indonesia's meteorological agency shared a map warning that showed volcanic ash had reached as far as eastern Malaysia on Borneo Island, which the country shares with Indonesia and Brunei. The latest eruptions have also forced closures of at least seven airports in the vicinity, including the SAM. Rachelangi International Airport that serves the city of Manado, capital of North Sulawesi province and a well-known scuba diving destination, nearby schools have also been shut to protect children from volcanic ash. Kawa jalan yang pene jalan. Jangan jalan ke motor. Situasi pagi ini jam 8.30 kembali huh. menyemburkan asap huh. 